I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I lost my connection from the router, so I had to connect from my cell phone data. Uh, so that's a plan B for me. Uh, but here, here I am. I'm going to turn off my camera just in case uh, there is a problem with the with the bandwidth. So just let me know if you can hear me well right now, please. Can you hear me well? Clearly? Yes or no? Me escuchan claramente? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. Now, I'm going to continue. And as I was telling you, I'm going to create the breakout rooms so that you can go and practice uh, the three questions, okay? What you can do is to have your, your manual ready in your computer or your cell phone, or you can take a screenshot. You can take a screenshot. Eso pueden utilizar para los breakout rooms. Tomar una captura de pantalla de las preguntas o lo que van a hacer para utilizarlas, ¿verdad? Por si no se, les, no se acuerdan qué era la pregunta. Okay, so you have three questions. Question number one, what is your favorite restaurant, right? In your city, right? Where you live. Uh, then what makes this restaurant a special place? And the question number three, what is more popular in your city? Takeout or delivery service? So we will go to the breakout rooms in three, two, one. Accept the invitation, please, and join the room. Okay, we are opening the breakout rooms in this moment. Okay, everybody has been invited now, please accept the invitation and join the breakout room. Perfect. Okay, Car uh, Francisco, Glenda, Carla, Jacqueline, and Maritza and Julio, accept the invitation to go to the breakout room, please. Lata. Okay, in ese momento ya pueden unirse a los, a los breakout rooms. No sé si les aparece la invitación para unirse. Francisco, okay, Glenda, Maritza. Maritza, Glenda, and Francisco, can you hear me? No, no me parece. No me parece, okay. Um, vamos a enviársela otra vez entonces. Francisco, Maritza, y Glenda. Okay, Francisco and Maritza, do you receive the invitation? Right now, yes. Okay, perfect.
ya aparece otra vez. Ajá. Me saca cada rato. Ajá, sí. Ok. Está intentando. Dice este, grabación en progreso. Sí, así me dice a mí también. Okay. Me saca y me, me vuelve a, a procesar. Vale, en este caso tienen que practicar las preguntas. Ok. Tienen las preguntas. Julio, Glenda. Hola, hola. Tienen las preguntas, las tres preguntas que estábamos discutiendo en la sesión para responderlas entre ustedes dos. Sí. Ok. Yo sí las tengo. Ok, practice. Pregúntale uno al otro, así. Las tres, las tres. Ok, okay. what is your favorite restaurant? I think that's the question number one. Uh, what makes this restaurant a special place and what is more popular in your city? Take out or delivery service? Can Julio, I go first? Your favorite restaurant. Hi, hi, hi. My my favorite is Puerto Marisco. They uh, especially right. especially uh, they uh, sell or they cook uh, ribs, beef. For example, uh, when you uh, when you eat at right. Before do uh, you uh, forgot the word pides? The word pides. Cuando tú pides, eh, ordenas. When you before you order. Uh, order. That's correct. Before I take the the or, or, orders, eh, they give me a. Uh, I don't know water. Restaurant, uh, the service, the food is good, but not good uh, than the food, but and the pollo campestre. I don't know. I I love the customer service that the wears that they have. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what is more popular in your city? Take out or delivery service? Where do you live? In San Salvador? San Salvador. I think that now it's delivery service. Yeah, mm -hmm. for the pandemic, it, yes. it is very popular, right? Okay. No, and it's you, what is your favorite mm -hmm. restaurant? I have a new rest. I have a new favorite restaurant. It is um, Boca de Lobo. I don't know if you know that that restaurant. Mm -hmm. No. Food they serve, serve, serve. They have a special uh, it names is Boca Brava. Uh, no, Costa Brava. It's with shrimps, avocado, uh, cilantro, and cheese, and it's very delicious. Wow, it sounds good. Everything yeah. that everything that has avocado is good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where is that yeah. located? It's, Sorry, what is the uh, name of the restaurant? Boca de Lobo. It is in. You're from San Salvador. It's near to uh, yeah, in San Salvador. 
Okay. Interesting. You have one more minute. One more minute to finish the questions. But if you like pizzas, you will, yeah. Okay, I will take that into consideration when I go to San Salvador. Yes, I, re I really recommend it. Okay, thank you. See you later. See you. I like to put, I like to put, uh, For, for me, for me. For you. Yeah. When it's sopa de gallina? Or oh, yes. Yeah. The chicken soup. Oh, well, hand soup. <laughs> yeah, okay. And what is more popular in your city? Take out or delivery service? Delivery service. Everybody, okay. everybody is using delivery service. Due to the pandemic, everybody used delivery service. Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes. I think so. <laughs> yeah, there are like so, a million delivery services now. The teacher is here with us. Teacher. Yes. yes. Hello. What is your favorite restaurant? <laughs> well, the one that I mentioned. Uh, La Tartaleta. La Tartaleta? Uh, I love yeah. it. So, yeah. I have been in La Tartaleta a couple of times and it's very good. Where are you from? I'm from San Salvador. But you have come to San Miguel. I have to travel to San Miguel sometimes because ah. uh, because of my job. Sometimes I have to go to La Unión, to Frontera La Matillo. Wow. So, in a, <laughs> I'm a from of San times I went. That's an interesting job. You, can, you, you will tell us about that one day. <laughs> More exactly, San Rafael Oriente. Okay, so I'll wait for you. You have around 50 seconds in case that you didn't finish. But if you finish, you can leave the breakout room now. Okay. We already finished. See you in the session. Okay, so uh, while we wait for the rest of your classmates to join us, uh, we are going to move on and I'm going to take the attendance for the second time. Okay, to check that everybody is here. I'm afraid that if I, if I use the connection, the other connection, I will disconnect the call. So I will start by calling Ana Beatriz, who is not here, right? Ana Elizabeth, mm, I think she's not here. Uh, let's continue with Ana Mariela. Present. Okay, perfect. Uh, next one. Brenda, Erlinda. I'm here. Perfect. Carla Janet Rodriguez. I'm here, teacher. Okay. I promise you that in this week, I am going to memorize your names and your faces. Okay. I promise this week. Um, I have a good memory with names and, and faces. But for the rest, not so much. Okay, Diana Yesenia. I'm here. Perfect. Flor y Dalma Ramirez. Mm, I don't see her. So, Francisco Amadeo. Here, teacher. Glenda Laura. Glenda is connecting. Okay. She's right here. She's having connection problems, but she's here. Uh, Jarvin Isaac. Is it Jarvin or Harvin? Harvin. I am Harvin. here. Okay, Harvin. Very yes. good. Uh, Jennifer Gisela. Not here. Juan Jose Avalos. 
I am here. Okay, I can see you and I can hear you now. That's great, uh, Juan Jose. So we continue with Karen Guadalupe. Karen, Karen. Okay, she's drinking water, I think. Here I am. Okay. Here I am. Perfect, Karen. Um, Maritza Al Castellón. Maritza, I think I saw Maritza, but uh, she's here, but I'm not sure if she's listening or she can use the microphone. Maritza Castellón. Remember that that's important, right? That you answer. Uh, Merlin is not here. We continue with Miguel Angel Centeno. I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Mr. Rolando Antonio. No, we don't have Rolando here. Ruth Sarai. I'm here. Nice. Uh, Suleyma, no, I don't see any Suleyma here. So we continue with the next person, Jessica Cortez. Blanca Stephanie. I'm here. Okay, Jessica, thank you. Blanca. I'm here too. Okay, Julio. I'm here. Freddy's present and Jacqueline present. There you go. Thank you, Jacqueline. Um, now we're going to move on and quickly. I just want to listen some names. Okay, some names. So um, I will ask. I want to listen everybody's voices. So I'm going to ask Carla. Can you please tell me the restaurants that you mentioned in the in the breakout room with your group? I'm sorry, teacher. The restaurant that, that I mentioned. That you and your group and your partners mentioned. Ah, uh, okay. In my group, we're talking about uh, where our favorite rest. Uh huh. And Mexican food. And because the partner that talked about the Puerto Marisco, she she said that she loves uh, uh, seafood. Seafood. And she loves to eat seafood in, with a beautiful view in the sea. And then she loves uh, Puerto Marisco because she loves uh, seafood. She can make a lot of kind of food that that they saw. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. I'm going to ask, um, let me check. Who haven't I heard from? Um, Harvey, Glenda. Okay, Glenda and Julio, you were discussing, right, together. What restaurants did you mention? Well, uh, Glenda mentioned La Fisheria. Okay, La Fisheria. And you? Uh, she was uh, talking to, uh, she was talking to me. She was talking to me about La Fisheria. I would like to go to that place. Uh, in fact, I was asking her how to get there, but we lose we lose the sign off. Yeah. I, uh, anyway, I, I was talking to her about uh, Puerto Marisco. Uh, okay. We don't use delivery. We don't use to carry out. We go with the family and have a good time. Okay. I love that place. I love uh, I love that place because they have uh, a good customer service, good okay. attention, good food. Is that in San uh, Salvador? What? Is that in San Salvador? Puerto yeah, Marisco? I live okay. in San Salvador. Okay, San Salvador. excellent. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a cute dog, Karen. <laughs> okay, now uh, I hear that a lot of people like seafood here. We have La Ficheria, Puerto Marisco. Oh, that's interesting. So uh, quickly, okay, I just need to have an idea, right, about where you are right now. So Brenda, 
Are you in San Salvador too? Are you from San Salvador? Yes or no? Brenda? Uh, no. No, where are you from? Huayua. Huayua. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's <laughs> nice. Uh, Juan Jose, where are you from? I am from San Salvador, but I live in San Marcos. Okay, okay. Diana, how about you? I'm from San Salvador. San Salvador, you live in San Salvador. Okay, Carla? I'm from Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla. Okay, that belongs to La Libertad, right? Okay. Uh, Freddy's? You mentioned at the beginning, right? Acajutla. Acajutla, uh -huh. uh, Karen, you are in San Salvador. You said that, I think. What about Francisco? Francisco, sorry, I didn't hear you. Eh, I am from Rosario de La Paz. Rosario de La Paz. Yes. It, that is located in which department? Uh, La Paz. It's La Paz. To the ah, okay, got it. Blanca? I'm from Abapa. Abapa. Okay, Ruth? I'm from San Salvador, but I live in Mexicano, but it's like the, the border, the limit of YouTube, Stepeque and Mexicano. Ah, okay. Um, Julio, San Salvador, Jacqueline? Okay, I'm from Mexicano. Mexicano. Okay, so you are close to, to Ruth. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Ana Mariela? Hi, I am from Ilopango. Ilopango. Okay. I love Cafe Santa Cruz in Ilopango. That's a nice place. Okay, uh, Miguel Angel? I'm from uh, San Salvador, but I live in Apopa City. Apopa City. Glenda? Yes. Thank you, Miguel Angel. Hi, I'm from Ciudad Delgado, San Salvador. Ciudad Delgado. Jessica? Uh, I'm from San Miguel, but I live in San Juan Pico. Really? Wow. Okay. Harvey? Yes. Sorry, I didn't hear you well. I am from Lourdes. Lourdes, Colón. Okay, yes. got it. And Maritza? Okay, we don't have connection with Maritza. Um, okay, I will turn on the camera. Hopefully it works. Cross fingers. Yeah, okay, perfect. So I'm going to take a screenshot quickly just for the memory of the first session. Say cheese. Okay, perfect, I got it. <laughs> okay, say seafood, because everybody likes seafood apparently. Now, we're go I'm going to share the screen with you uh, for the, the next part quickly. Um, here it is. Okay, so we already discussed, now we're going to practice a conversation. Um, that it's about Luigi, right? Luigi and Carla. So uh, Luigi has a pizza restaurant, but he wants to have more customers. Read the conversation and then you will complete the statements below. There are three statements, okay, that you will complete. Number one, cheese is, and then pepperoni. Number two, the restaurant next door is, two words, our pizzeria. Number three, they have two spaces, 
decorations, one space, this place. Okay, so um, right now just listen to me, right? And then you will practice. Uh, I only mean that I cannot hear the teacher. Really? I can. Uh oh, so we have a problem. <laughs> okay. Um, I will try to say the conversation, okay, for you to listen, and then you will practice, okay, in the breakout rooms, in pairs, in pairs. So maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. Um, we also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, so that is the conversation. Okay, now we're talking about food. Probably you are hungry in this moment, okay, as you are listening to uh, to this conversation about pizza, cheese, pepperoni, et cetera, et cetera. So I need you to please take a screenshot of the conversation. If you have the manual, you can use it, right? No problem. Take a screenshot because I need you to do two things. Number one, practice the conversation. Uh, in, one in one time, you are Luigi. In the second time, you are Carla, right? So you practice the two dialogues and then uh, you complete with your partner the exercise number three that is discuss the answer and complete the in the blanks fill in the blanks so for this you will have exactly five minutes okay no more five minutes you will go to the breakout rooms i, am... I can barely hear you okay um yeah i think it's because of the unstable connectivity so um just Practice the conversation and complete the exercise in purse, okay, in purse. You have five minutes. You can take a screenshot if you want. Uh, you can take a screenshot of the conversation. And then you will go to the breakout rooms to practice. Miguel Angel, question? or comment. I can hear you. Okay, uh, no me escucha bien. Eso es lo que entiendo. Okay, so I will send you to the breakout rooms and lo que los envío a los breakout rooms, voy a tratar de arreglar lo de la conexión. So practice and complete the exercise. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. You can go to the breakout rooms now. Glenda and Maritza, can you hear me?
Okay, Harvin, um, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so I think that Glenda had some technical problems, so I'm going to practice a conversation with you. Okay. Okay, so you are uh, Luigi and I will be Carla. Okay, I will start. Okay. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customer, but it is better. It's better than pepperoni. Okay, Luigi, I think yes. our, our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the south. It's in the sauce, okay, sauce, sauce. sauce. Uh -huh. It's not the cheese or the sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce that will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, very good. Now we switch. I am Luigi, you will be Carla, right? Uh, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. Hello? For regular customer and we don't receive take out order. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you're a genius, a genius. Uh, then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, perfect. So uh, right now, uh, your Harvin, you need to complete the exercise number three. Okay. Okay, you have two minutes maximum. Okay, I will do it. Okay, perfect. Good job. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you. After that, we... And we don't receive take off orders. So mm -hmm. let's start with that. Okay. Have more to have more customers. Uh, yes, uh, uh -huh. it is is more customer. Okay. And yeah. and Luigi says yes, Carla, you are a genius. Mm -hmm. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be in the new specialty of the house. The new specialty. So, a mm -hmm. the Uh, está recobrando la sesión el teacher. No, no. No? No, no, the secret is the sauce. Sorry. Go on, go on. It's not the it's cheese. Not the cheese of sauce. Luigi, we have to offer table reservation for regular customers and we do not receive it, receive it take our order. So let us start with that. Yes, Carla, you're a genius. Then we will, we will add more cheese and more sauce 
that will be the new specialty of the house. Specialty of the house. Very good. Okay, so you have one minute to complete the exercise and go back to the yeah. main session. We did it. We did it. Okay, so let's go yeah. to the session. Excellent. Okay. Okay, everybody's coming back. Okay, perfect. So almost everybody finished. We're going to uh, ask for two volunteers quickly uh, to perform the conversation, okay? I need two volunteers to perform the conversation between Carla and Luigi. Do we have two volunteers? I can be Luigi. Okay. We can change the names. Okay. We can change the names. We can change the names. We can you can use your own name, right? So Diana and Francisco, right? Very good. Uh only in my house is right. Okay, uh, let me check. Francisco, you start with the conversation. I'm going to share the screen so that you can see the conversation and practice it. Okay, so Francisco, please, ready? Maybe we need to say go. Yes, I'm ready. Uh, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so so we get more customer but cheese in better than pepperoni we did i think a restaurant is Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than in this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is the cheese. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer Yes, Carla, you are the genius. Then we will be, then we will have more cheese and more food. That will be done in the specialty of the house. Back today. Okay, excellent. Class for them, please. Very good. Thank you so much, Francisco and Diana, for volunteering. Uh, so, yes, we have some new vocabulary, maybe, or pronunciation that we need to pay attention, right? For example, uh, when we said sauce, right? Sauce, that is salsa, right? But not the, the, the music. Uh, it's what you add to the food, right? The sauce, tomato sauce, or I don't know, any spicy sauce, whatever. Um, and probably new vocabulary, take out, right? Take out, uh, that would, that's what we call in Spanish. Tomato. Para llevar, right? Take out. Uh, the word genius, probably the pronunciation, genius, um, and specialty. That would be the other word, right? Specialty. Now, I need three volunteers to tell me the answers of the exercise number three. Okay, who can tell me number one? Cheese is better than pepper. Who, who said that? <laughs> I say that. <laughs> Okay, cheese is better than pepperoni. Okay, I'm going to write it down here. Wait a second. Uh, notation, cheese is better. Let me say the second answer. Than. Okay, number two. Uh, okay, Julio, number two and number three, we're going to listen to uh, Blanca. She raised her hand first. Okay. Okay, okay. Go ahead. 
Number two. Julio. Julio. Then. The restaurant next door is bigger than bigger than our mm -hmm. pizzeria. Oh, okay. So, so that, that's, that's right. Okay, so that is a compliment. Uh, Blanca, what do you have for number three? They have more beautiful decoration than display. More beautiful decorations than, uh -huh, than this place. Okay, so the letters are a little bit big, right? But uh, you get the idea. Um, it's better than if I write them down. Uh, so here we are using comparisons okay and that is a topic that we're going to study or refresh right now because probably not totally new for you uh but it's good to remember how to compare two things so uh, for that i am going to go to the next slide before we go to the explanation just to match okay some words because vocabulary is very important so what do you think is the complement of specialty? What is the definition of specialty? Uh, I think that there was one volunteer. In I the think previous... that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Who's speaking? Okay, Brenda, uh, wait a second. Okay, um, so Brenda, a, a dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Okay, Glenda, do you have number two, buffet? I think buffet is different dishes placed in the public area where people serve them. Help, okay, they serve themselves. That's correct, that's a buffet. So um, I'm going to do the annotation here. Uh, thank you, Glenda and Brenda. I have Blanca, number three, book a table. Okay. So, uh, you said the specialty is this one, right? Right here. I'm going to use the text better. Okay, uh, number two, you said that buffet is different plates. Number three, uh, book a table. You mentioned that is to make a reservation, right? Okay, number four, we have Ana Mariela, please. Number four, take out. A package meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. That is right, a packaged meal that you can take away or eat away from the restaurant. Um, and the last one, the most difficult delivery, <laughs> that is, every, can you help me to read the definition, one volunteer? And you can call a restaurant, order food, and they can they take it to your home. Okay, that would be number five, right? So delivery. Okay, let's practice quickly. Just pronunciation, listen and repeat. You don't have to activate the microphone, okay? Para los ejercicios de repetición no tienen necesariamente que activar el micrófono, uh, pero sí hacer pronunciar las palabras, okay? O lo que se practique. Uh, remember that repetition is important, especially with new vocabulary, with new pronunciations and with difficult pronunciations too, because some words are difficult to pronounce and you need to repeat them many times until you pronounce them correctly. So number one, specialty, specialty. Number two, buffet, buffet. Uh, number three, book a table. Book is not literal, right? In this case, it's to make a reservation. You can book a room in a hotel, for example, or you can, book a table right at a restaurant uh, number four take out 
take out, okay, is different to delivery. That is number five, delivery. And you see the definitions right there, okay? You can take a screenshot if you want to have the answers for to practice or to study later, because remember that these exercises are connected to the platform. So you will probably complete some exercises for vocabulary and this will be necessary, okay? For you to remember. Now, comparisons. This is, this is what I was telling you, right? This is about management. We have the examples here. I am not going to read or ask you to memorize all the rules, okay? Uh, but I am going to ask you to pay attention to the examples. So we can use comparative, comparative or the comparative form of the adjectives to compare two people, things, or animals. For example, uh, delivery service is better than takeout is an example. Uh, in your opinion, what food is more delicious? Mexican food or Chinese food? In your opinion. Mexican or Chinese? Which one connection is connection again, teacher? Yeah, connection problems. Uh, okay, so which food is more delicious? I am going to write it in the chat. Okay, pay attention to the chat. Okay, okay. Oh, I think chain. Oh, no, 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 Mexican. <laughs> Both. Both. I don't like Chinese food. I prefer Chinese food. Which food is healthier? There is a difference, right? There is a difference. <laughs> Uh -huh, between delicious and healthy, right? Um, okay, perfect. So in my opinion, Mexican food is more delicious than Chinese food, but Chinese food is healthier than Mexican food. It depends. It depends, but yes. you, but usually, Mexican usually it's healthier, right? Okay, so. Um, oh, it depends. It depends. The okay. tacos don't have calories. It depends <laughs> where you try the food. Uh -huh. It depends. It depends. Okay. But usually the Mexican food is more delicious and the yeah, Chinese there's food there's is healthier. Okay. Normalmente la comida china es más saludable que la mexicana. Okay. Um, normally, right? Normally. Now. A good example, Glenda. Thank you. It's a complete example. Now, uh, so that is how we use the comparative. Can you hear me now? Pueden escucharme bien? Yeah. Okay. In this moment, yes. So uh, when the adjective has one or two syllables, we normally just add ER. For example, we say, um, small. We lost you, teacher. 
weight. Small. Can you please repeat? Smaller. Big. Bigger. Fast. Bigger. Faster. Faster. Uh huh. So. Uh, uh huh. Tall. Taller. 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 Then. Okay. So, question. Question for you. Who is taller? Shakira or Pique? Pique is taller than Shakira. Yeah, Pique. Okay. He is taller than her. Okay, excellent. Uh, so, that is the way that we use the comparative adjectives that are short. But if the adjective has more than two syllables, for example, important, we say more important. Uh, if we say handsome, more, more handsome, handsome, uh huh, correct. So, question for you one question for you uh, Who is more handsome? Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is more handsome it's than more handsome than DiCaprio. Leonardo. <laughs> okay, so we have a division. We have a division here, right? We have a half division. and a half. But, <laughs> but when he, but when they are more younger. When they were younger. When they were younger. Okay, so let's say that DiCaprio is more. Handsome. I know neither. Then Pit. Okay. So that is that is a uh, an example. It's an example, right? So uh, right now we are going to finish with this. Okay. Uh, the or the drawing. So I need you to complete the exercise number six, okay? I need you to complete exercise number six by yourself and tomorrow we check. Tomorrow we check the answers, okay? Uh, so because of time, can you hear me well in this moment? Yes. Okay, yes. because of time, yes. Yes, I, am, I am just going to uh call out your name okay just the final check of your attendance so um we go with the attendance quickly uh jacqueline present yes no jacqueline freddy's Okay, perfect. Um, now, as we are finishing, I am going to take the attendance. Okay, based on the on the on the screenshot right now, uh, due to time and to the connection issues that we have, and I am going to stay with one student today. Right, so the student for today is Diana Yesenia. Um, so. Thank you so much, guys. It was a pleasure to meet you. Uh, have an amazing night. It was, uh, I hope that you learned something new today. Uh, today is just the beginning. Tomorrow we are going to continue. 
hopefully uh, everything is going to be better with no rain probably a better connection but for today that's all um, i don't know if you have any questions or comments before we say goodbye no thank you very much not the chair okay perfect so have a have a good night see you tomorrow at the same time uh don't forget to complete the exercise about thank the, you for the, the class. comparatives you're welcome thank you for your participation you are really good students i am happy for that uh you have a good level of english and i know i have a feeling that we're going to have a good time and we're going to learn a lot Tengo un, present, un buen presentimiento, okay? So, uh, see you tomorrow. Uh, Diana, you can stay for a moment, please. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. Uh, Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night, everyone. Buen appetit if you're going to have dinner right now. <laughs>
at 8.30 and you were uh, doing the attendance uh -huh. when I started the, the class today. So at the end of the, of the class, I just noticed that I have to stay with you uh, <laughs> after the class. Yeah. I didn't right. prepare anything. <laughs> Okay, don't worry. Uh, you don't have to prepare anything. Um, but if there is something in particular that you feel that you would like to improve or you would like to learn about, or let's say about the language, uh, you can just tell me, right? And maybe I can give you some tips or some, uh, I don't know, some suggestions or some extra materials or recommend you some websites, right? To, oh, okay. For you to practice. Okay. Um, as everyone, I think I want to improve the pronunciation and to learn more vocabulary. And that's, I would like to improve. And the fluency. And the fluency. Um, mm -hmm. Do you regularly practice English with someone? No. No? No. But you took the previous course to this one, the previous module. Yeah, I took the... I think it was in May. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is my second, my second time with Inglés Corporativo, the second model. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So it's been a good experience, I hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really enjoy this class. Okay. We have uh, another exercise out of the book or the manual and that was really good um i like the 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 way you you pronounce the words i think you are very expressive and 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 we hear you like like almost like a like a american <laughs> <laughs> like a native speaker yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I got it. Thank yeah. you for mm -hmm. that. Um, well, I try. Okay. I try, but, uh, obviously it's a matter of, uh, practice and a lot Some of teachers that they are. Mm -hmm. And you speak like those teachers. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. thank you. I appreciate it. So you mm -hmm. said that you want to improve uh, some aspects on pronunciation, uh, fluency, and also yeah. vocabulary. Yes. Okay. So, uh, well, one of the most important things that you should do in order to improve your, your fluency, it's obviously to expose yourself to speaking the language with... Uh, with other people, especially if those people uh, have a higher level than you, like uh, advanced level of English, like um, native speakers, if possible, right, if possible. And the other way that you can improve your fluency, and that I always recommend this to students, is by reading aloud, reading aloud. So you find a text, a piece of text, let's say, and then you you start reading aloud. Yeah, can you reading recommend me a book? Uh, but a uh, a book, um, not too too difficult. Not too difficult. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not sure if I could recommend you a specific book because uh, for reading, I think that you need to think about your you need to choose something that you feel attracted to something that you are interested in. I don't know what kind of text, what kind of books, what kind of genre you like. If you like- Drama, uh, romantic, romance. Romance, okay. So maybe you can uh, think of um, a book that is not so old. Uh, I, I bought the book, but unfortunately I left it in the US. 
so I couldn't bring it to El Salvador. <laughs> uh, but it's from the movie Me Before You. Made it. Me Before You. Teacher? I don't know if you have. Oh, Me Before You. I saw that movie. Okay, so that book, uh, I, I would say that it's a really nice book uh, that has a lot of vocabulary. Uh, it's related to real life, right? It's not like very old vocabulary with all the scenarios. It's very modern, updated, I would say. So that okay. would be a, a really good option. And something that I would recommend you also is reading articles about topics that you like. So in my okay. case, I like to read articles about medicine, about health, about technology. And now I read a little bit more about economy and politics. I uh, think economy, it's very difficult to understand. Yeah, but when I say <laughs> economy, uh, I, I refer to the financial part, like tips to, oh, okay. to control your your income and your outcome right how do you administrate your money uh, so like um oh. how, how to administrate your money so it's not economy like uh the graph and uh, all these sophisticated topics no okay. it's just tips to to manage your money that Okay. That's something that I think is important, right? Like uh, financial economy, that would be a topic that I like and also health. Or maybe if you like to exercise, you can read some, some articles about how to lose weight or how to gain muscles, how to, I don't know. If you like fashion things like uh, fashionable things, uh about what is trending in the in the new season what kind of clothes right if you like cars you can read about the new models so articles are cool because they are very informative they are very relevant and they are not too long like you can read an article in what five minutes ten minutes and you learn something useful um so that would be something that i would recommend you to to read and um, uh, that would be about fluency. At the same time, you are learning vocabulary when you're doing that. Yeah. And okay. about pronunciation, uh, one website that I recommend a lot is uh, Uglish. I will Juglish. write it. Yeah, I will write it in the chat. Uglish.com. Okay. Yeah, Uglish.com. That's a website. It's a combination of YouTube and English. English, Juglish. So in that website, you will be able to look for specific words that you have doubts or you don't know how to pronounce. And you will, and automatically, it will give you all the videos where that word is pronounced by many people, by different people in different mm -hmm. scenarios, but they are real life videos, uh, like conferences and speeches like that like for example you look for the word um uh, let's say um treaty right tratado treaty um uh, and you will you will find a video with obama pronouncing the word treaty in a speech and you see the video you see the the lyric i mean the the, the subtitles in english and uh, if you want, you can watch the whole uh, video. Okay. So it's amazing. And you can listen to all the people that pronounce the word in different videos. Okay. So that's one it. option. That's one option. Of course, I'm going to share that uh, later on, right, in the, in the course during the classes so that everybody knows about it. It's not top secret, right? Uh, okay. And the second choice that for me, for I mean, that I would suggest for you is that you download a dictionary uh, offline because you can use it at any time, even if you don't have internet connection. Uh, so if you look on the App Store, uh, on the Play Store, right? The Play Store, 
a dictionary offline or dictionario inglés, one of the first options that you will see is, is the correct one. Uh, it's one that has a little book and it's, it has a blue and red label. It's like a green box. And that is the, 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 the app that I would recommend you to download. Um, I think I will share the link uh, in the WhatsApp group so that everybody can download it. So the good thing is that you have the definition, you have examples, and you can listen to definition and examples if you click on the bottom, play. So it's really okay. good. And most of the time you find the, the translation at the bottom of the, of the dictionary. So uh, you can receive a new word every day. I think it's possible. Uh, so, I will try. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You should try it out. Uh, I would think I will, I will share that with you uh, tomorrow because probably that's it's too late to share it right now. But um, OK, that's what I would say. And about vocabulary. Hello. hello? Oh. And about vocabulary, one of the best. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. One of the best tips that I can give you is that you have a little notebook where you write down all the new words that you that you find. It's a special notebook just for vocabulary. Uh, write down the definition. You can write down the translation and examples. Create examples using that word, okay? Because okay. the most important is not only that you know the word, the meaning or translation, but you know how to use it in context. Okay. So that would be my advice. Okay, teacher, thank you for all recommendations. You're very welcome, Diana. Have a good <laughs> night. I think that we're done. Have uh, a good night. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you for okay. everything. You're welcome, okay. my pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.